Here's a history changer. You may think the first sound recording was made by Thomas Edison, right? Well, Tech Now's Gene Ellie says maybe not. Thomas Edison's 1877 recording of Mary Had a Little Lamb was considered the oldest recorded voice. But researcher David Giovannoni believed there was music much deeper in the past. It just needed technology to find its voice. We uh, found a sound recording made on April 9th, 1860 in Paris by a French typesetter and sometimes inventor by the name of Leon Scott. Back in 1860, Leon Scott made crude recordings in France with his invention, the phonautograph. He made this recording on a smoked piece of paper that, and his stylus kind of pushed away the smoke to make a white tracing on the paper. Scott figured out how to make the recordings. He just didn't know how to play them. But 147 years later, Joe Vinoni and his team did something Scott never dreamed of. And from those scans, we were able then to work with our colleagues at Lawrence Berkeley Labs, who turned those tracings on the paper into sound waves that we could hear. Like this, this young woman's voice kind of is pushing through, pushing through a century and a half ago, singing to us. That 10 second clip of Eau Claire de la Lune is now believed to be the world's oldest recording, predating the previous first known recording by 17 years. I just found myself thinking, my God, I'm the first person to listen to an intelligible vocal musical performance from before the American Civil War. This morning, Joe Vinoni premiered the 10 second recording before the Association for Recorded Sound collections at Stanford. As the ghostly crackling from a century and a half ago filled the room, Joe Vinoni heard another sound he liked. Thank you, Gene. The group says it will continue to tweak and improve Leon Scott's recording.